Now then, family ammo, welcome back to another video on Jazzy TV. Getting a bit posh now, aren't I, with them intros? Welcome back, la, Jazzy TV. Today, we're going to talk about five things that make no sense to me. Not to everybody, because they do to some people. And a lot of people do a lot of things, because a lot of people do a lot of things. We don't even question a lot of things. But these are the five things that I question myself as a professional fighter. That makes no sense. Why do we do that? Running, swimming, strength and conditioning. I get it. I understand because you can make you better in certain areas. But we're boxers, aren't we? And you never see a weightlifter going for a 10 mile run. And you never see a snooker player on a second session of the day going to play bowls. It's just completely different sports. I get it doing it for the fitness aspect and the strength aspect, I get that, but you get a lot of fighters doing mad things these days just to get a little bit of an edge and I sometimes look and I think you're only doing that because you're around some bluffer, some strength conditioning coach and he hasn't got a clue and he wants to make a name for himself and now he's got you pulling these fucking rubber bands in a warm up, so stop doing that middle of the round and sparring we never sit down if i was in the gym and someone sat down and sparring in the, in between rounds i think what what's he doing there the lunatic get off your ass now don't disrespect yourself lad by sitting down in the corner between between rounds and sparring but then we fight in the night nobody stands up don't get it now not many people have actually questioned this one but I overanalyze absolutely everything, so I did. And when, when fighters are in a fighting camp, you're having a, you said like you're doing an eight week camp for a 12 week fight. You would start off on four rounds, four rounds on the bags, or four rounds sparring. The main bulk of the session will be four rounds. Then the next week you build it to six, then to eight, then to 10, then you finish on 12. Some fighters go over, I, I recommend doing one or two on 12 rounds whether that be the sparring or the bags or the pads but why do we go up in two rounds i don't get that so if you've got an eight week camp and you started on four rounds week two would be five rounds week three would be six rounds week four so on and so on and you get yourself up to 12 rounds by peak week i don't know why we don't go up in one round every week so we go from four, four rounds of sparring, five rounds of sparring, six rounds, seven rounds. But you never see fighters doing odd rounds, ever. It's never, ever odd rounds. So you never see going in the gym and saying, do you want to do, do, you want to do a seven round spar? I've never heard anyone say it. If someone gets out on seven, it can only mean that they've been battered and they've sort of given or you got an injury you never get out on an odd round and i don't know why we don't build it one round per week does it make sense because i've been taught it and because everyone who taught me it, that's what they were taught i don't really know when you look a bit deeper making weight what's that all about everyone's making weight i would say if you go back and back and back weight making was sort of it can't be you're taller than him or you're fatter than him sorry you're heavier than him can't get, get a, gotta stay a bit woke these days so you wouldn't actually i would say it's like I, I i would class it as an advantage cheating in a sense because making weight come about didn't it because initially it was probably you're too big to fight him and i understand that but then you put weights in there and then once you put rules in there there's somebody always trying to break the rules and i would say that's why we've come to a place where fighters fight dehydrated because there's some cheating fucker who wants to manipulate the rules to get an advantage it had to be i don't understand it why, why would fighters dehydrate themselves so much to get an, an advantage and what you're doing if people who don't understand this what weight making actually is and why you make weight a lot of people don't know why a lot of fighters don't even know why they're making weight but a lot of people are making weight because if you lose four pounds of, of fluid that means that you can rehydrate after the weighing and if you've hydrated properly 
you're not going to be affected by the dehydration phase but within that time you kept four pounds of muscle on you so you're going in there not with a, a water advantage or hydration advantage you only go in there with a hydration disadvantage you go in there with a with a muscle advantage and that's what people are doing but now you've got fighters rehydrating crazy amounts of weight and i don't even think that they're going in there understanding i'm doing this because i want a 10 pound muscle advantage so that to me doesn't make no sense really and i think boxing needs to shake up somewhere along the line around making the weight and i don't think making weight should be tested on a pair of scales i think making weight should be tested by hydration now this one for everyone makes no sense at all especially in a combat sport steroids steroids to me it's it's a dog strip because if you're using steroids you understand going in there that your your mindset it's weak i know it's weak because you you know take i've seen people taking steroids and I've been around people who know we're taking steroids. I've been offered steroids. If you hit someone in a ring, you should go to prison. If you hit someone in a boxing ring and you know you're on the steroids, how can you how can you walk around and take the pats on the back from people? How can you go into schools? How can you inspire kids when you know all along you're a fraud? And people say, I do it because everyone else does it. And Am I gonna sit here and lie and say I've never questioned what will it be like and, and how will I feel if I take the steroids? No, I have. When I'm at my darkest times, I've asked myself, what do you think it'd be like with the steroids? Every other comes doing it. You've, you've been a victim of somebody who's fought yet and they've been called for steroids. So wouldn't that make you even better? And wouldn't have you received all the perks that they've received when you lost? If you say steroids and you know you'd be world champion, the sort of a semi guarantee that you're gonna get this world title. But at the end of the day, you still have to look yourself in the mirror. So steroids to me, I'm rambling a little bit here, and I look a good ramble, don't I? But steroids to me, I think it's a dog's trick. And any fighter who takes steroids, to me, is a dog because we all compete. I get it, but they're a selfish, greedy dog because they're not willing to go in there with that fair play and put their hands out and shake your hands whether you win or lose and see who's the better man in the night. They're too scared to go in there and face consequences of not being a success that's my view on steroids so that was my rant on things that make no sense in boxing so please like comment share subscribe tell all your mates so i get loads of money on youtube and remember leave a comment wrong comments only by the way wrong comments are well funny yet and i get it um, i get a laugh out of it when i read them so what makes no sense in boxing and i know there's a lot of things that make no sense because we always have the questions, well, why is the, why is the four titles or five titles? I've seen, seen Tyson Fury the other day. He was going to be fighting, he said something like he was fighting for eight titles against Alexander Usyk. And I thought, wow, that is amazing. But then at the same time, could we not accumulate eight titles into one? And we know exactly what it means, like it was back in the day, before I was even a, an idea in my half-fellas brain. So you let me know, Famalamo. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that one, but you have a lovely day.